we'll be getting into some topics with Drew McIntyre's huge mistake, a new look for Becky Lynch, Brock Lesnar's update, and much more. Let's start things off with this new Drew McIntyre's mistake. Despite live fans leaving the shows, Drew McIntyre still had a great run and build-up in early 2020. He eliminated Brock Lesnar in the Royal Rumble, which was of course foreshadowing for Drew winning the Rumble and facing Brock at WrestleMania. Drew would have had a great few months of build up to that match and would end up defeating Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship in 5 minutes. Drew would go on to face all these opponents and eventually lose the title thanks to a plan that The Miz and Bobby Lashley collaborated on and then Lashley would of course take it from there. That would lead to Drew McIntyre getting his rematch for the title against Bobby Lashley. But here's where the mistake kicks in. Drew McIntyre didn't get one or two rematches and then he was out of the picture. No, it wasn't like that at all. Drew McIntyre had months and months of non-stop rematches against Bobby Lashley. And that right there is what slowly got fans to turn on Drew McIntyre. There was nothing wrong with Drew McIntyre, the performer. There was a massive problem with the writing of his character. Drew would lose title matches straight up and then be seen in Adam Pearce's office the next night on Raw demanding another title match. And this wasn't a one-time thing, this went on for months. And the poor writing behind the Lashley vs McIntyre feud is what really ended up hurting this feud. Drew McIntyre, who was supposed to be our babyface character, started coming off as this entitled whiny character that always had an excuse for why he lost during the title matches. And it just made his character look not bad per se, but it was just a really weird situation to write Drew McIntyre into. And it eventually got fans to be fully annoyed with Bobby Lashley vs Drew McIntyre. It was a feud that never ended and everyone was annoyed with Drew McIntyre for always having a reason for a rematch. Eventually, WWE added a stipulation that Drew McIntyre could never fight for the WWE title again as long as Bobby Lashley was champion. And then, immediately after Lashley lost the title, Drew McIntyre was Big E's first contender. Well, during a recent interview with BT Sport, Drew opened up about that writing issue and admits that Lashley's feud should have ended way sooner. He had this to say about that topic, quote, It was weird because generally the good guy is the one chasing and that's where the excitement is. I felt for a long period that as champion, that's where I was meant to be and the chase was exciting for Rumble to Mania when I beat Brock. But there was a period where I felt I'm meant to be, I'm meant to be champion. During the Lashley stuff, perhaps the way we set up the matches, perhaps the narrative of Drew keeps getting title matches that we were pushing for some reason didn't exactly help during that period. Perhaps I could have gotten out of the title scene a little quicker after I lost the first match and didn't have a couple of follow-up matches and started the rebuild again." End quote. And Drew is completely right, the way the rematches kept coming back and that entire narrative of Drew McIntyre getting infinite rematches really turned the fans off from the story and even from Drew McIntyre as a character. Drew thinks he should have gotten out of the Lashley feud after the first match and just start to rebuild again right away. Sort of like what we're seeing right now from Drew McIntyre. Drew isn't in the world title picture at this moment, but he's still highly featured on SmackDown. Sure, some of the stuff with the sword in the table was a bit out there, but besides that, Drew McIntyre has been used beautifully so far on SmackDown. He's not really involved in a specific feud right now, but he keeps coming out and putting on dominant performances. So that will help him to continue to build his case to challenge Roman Reigns for the Universal title down the line. That's most definitely what they're preparing Drew McIntyre for. So you should continue to see him just be this unstoppable force again because they really want to make him seem like a threat to Roman. And hopefully, with Drew McIntyre vs Roman Reigns, they did learn their lesson and they don't repeat some of those huge mistakes that we saw with McIntyre and Lashley. So, keep a close eye for what Drew McIntyre is up to next. Everyone knows that Seth Rollins took the visual presentation of his WWE character to new heights throughout 2021. Seth always had a new crazy look every week and never repeats an outfit. Well. 
Ever since returning, Becky Lynch has sort of taken that same trait. Becky Lynch now comes out with new outfits every week on Raw and never repeats any outfits herself. It appears that Becky Lynch is now bringing these new looks to her ring gear as well. More specifically, her big pay-per-view event ring gears. Everyone saw the red ring gear at Survivor Series that fans claimed reminded them of the Scarlet Witch. Well now, Becky has this purple ring gear which features a whole new look of her ring gear design that we haven't seen before. Designer Fabork Design took to Instagram to preview the purple ring gear for Becky. Fabork called the ring gear her biggest project to date. She really appreciated and loved working with Becky Lynch for this ring gear. So telling by Becky's gear at Survivor Series and now Day 1, it looks like she's creating a theme here. Maybe Becky will debut new ring gear at every major event throughout the year. So be on the lookout for that. The babyface solo version of Brock Lesnar has been a major hit with the fans thus far. We were so accustomed to the stone cold monster version of, of Brock Lesnar for so many years. And although it was great, everyone knows that the major thing in WWE is always evolving your character. And that's what Brock has done since returning at SummerSlam. We now have a Brock that not only has a new look and appearance, he also has a new personality for his character. The old Brock Lesnar was great, but there was a time there where they weren't doing much with him anymore. Every Brock Lesnar appearance would just consist of the same thing. Heyman speaking while Lesnar jogs in place, and that got stale. But now, Brock Lesnar appearances are back to being fun again because of the new character and how unpredictable he is. He'll crack jokes or will he beat you down? There's more now that you can do with him since he has this new personality. Drew McIntyre spoke with Sports Kita and also commented on the new side of Brock Lesnar and had this to say, quote, He has shown that serious side. People loved it at times. They hated it at times. And now they're getting a chance to see a little bit that Brock didn't like to be revealed. That he can be a nice guy. He can be a funny guy. He kept that hidden as a part of his presentation for years. He didn't want the world to know that, but now he is letting them in a little bit about how he is actually like." End quote. So Drew is saying that what we're seeing right now is just Brock Lesnar's true personality that he's finally starting to showcase on WWE television. So hopefully WWE continues to use Brock Lesnar in this fashion because it's been great so far. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.